Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, press play to check your work. Welcome back, fifth grade. So this one says select all of the equations that are true and they're all multiplying by fractions. I could draw out a model for each one of these, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is use the standard algorithm because I know that when I multiply with fractions, I can just fly across and multiply. All right, so this first one right here, it says one third of one fourth. One third times one fourth is that one seventh. Well, I know that one third times one fourth. If I'm multiplying across, one times one would be one in my numerator, and three times four would be 12 in the denominator. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one. Okay, next. Next up, we've got one third times one sixth is that one eighteenth. Let me bring it on down to try it. So multiplying the numerator, I would get one multiply the numbers in the denominator, that would be 18. Yes, that is a correct answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one. Next up, we've got 3 fourths times 1 half, is that 4 sixths? Let me bring it on down. 3 fourths times 1 half. Multiply the numerators. 3 times 1 is 3. Multiply the denominators. Four times two equals eight. It would be three eighths and it is not four sixths. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one. Next up, we've got five eighths times three fourths. Is that 15 30 seconds? I think that's how you would say that denominator. Five eighths times three fourths. Five times three equals what? 15. And eight times four, is that 32? It is, which means that this one is correct. So we can go ahead and mark that answer choice. All right, and our last one is two sixths times two fourths. Let's see if that is four tenths. Two sixths times two fourths, two times two equals what? Four. And six times four equals what? 24, right? So it'd be four twenty-fourths, not four tenths, so we cannot mark that one. So those are our two answers right up there. Pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make. Again, you could have drawn these out too. This is just one way to multiply these fractions. Um, pause the video to jot down your notes. And when you're Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.